In the previous video, we had seen about the consistent deformation or the need for consistent deformation. But the, this is a very important principle of structural mechanics. All the rotations and translations in a structure have to be compatible with each other. If if uh, if one part of the structure rotates by a certain uh, number of radians, the other part to which it's connected should also have the same number. Now in this light, uh, we saw the um, beam. So here it means that if suppose there is a support, then the to make it consistent, the deformations are consistent. The translation should have been zero. And using this condition, we had worked this out. Now in this video, we'll go through the strain energy method. So we will solve the same using the strain energy. Energy is the amount of or what, the ability for work to be done. Now in structures, the st uh, structure is strained or it's caused a deformation. This deformation is something which the structure doesn't like. It tries to get back to its original shape and this is what we call as the strain energy. Much as how a spring stores energy in it because of the displacement it is forced to undergo. Now uh, if you want to go through the derivation I will suggest that you go through this um, NPTEL course. So in this NPTEL course you will find that um, the, the energy, the total energy which is there stored in the beam has been brought out. Now we are going to use the principle of or the theorem of least work which states for any indeterminate structure the redundance uh, shared should be such that the total energy within the structure is zero. So we try to make the that is whenever there is a change you know, the nature by itself doesn't like to have a very huge difference of anything. So the internal energy what it is going to have is going to be a minimum. Now I will just make a note of this and probably this portion we will uh, skip a little faster. So So this is the definition of the or this is the this is how the theorem of least work goes and uh, we, we are able to see that you know the total energy which is there because of the redundance should be equal to zero. So this brings about a very interesting uh, part. So we see that the energy is equal to the integral m m square dx by ei by 2 ei now according to this we need to make the redundant force so for example if there is a redundant reaction we will be differentiating this energy with reference to this red, uh, and equating it to zero this when i say this it is that r is the redundant reaction now this is better understood when we go through a problem and we will solve the same problem which we did in the previous case. So we are going to take the cantilever beam. We are going to apply a point load W at mid span. So this is it. And then we are going to have a redundant reaction B over here. So let this W be at point C. Now we are going to remove a couple of, uh, uh, here it is redundant to degree 1, so we need to remove 1. So we will be again removing the uh, reaction at B, we will be removing the reaction at B and then we will be going ahead with it. And when we are going to remove the, uh, when we are going to make B redundant, so this is going to reduce to a system that looks something like this. So this is the load W and then we are going to have a reaction RB a force and this force and moment are going to cause a, 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 a moment over here which will be equal to say RB into L minus W into 
L by 2. So this would be the uh, reaction or this would be the uh, moment which we will be getting. Let us not worry about the signs as of now. Let us uh, just go ahead with what we are to do. Now the total energy in this beam U is equal to the integral m square dx by 2 ei. So we are going to uh, split this into two parts. We are going to split this into two parts. One with the origin at B. So we are going to have origin at B and uh, we are also going to have the other origin at C. We are going to have the other origin at C. So we are going to have two equations. So when the origin is at B, I integrate between the limits 0 to L by 2 and I, I call this as RB and RB into X. Okay. Now this is going to be M square. So it is going to be whole square divided by 2EI. And then again for the with the origin at C, it is going to be 0 to L by 2. And again RB into uh, what shall we say? It is going to be the origin is at X. So it is L by 2. 2 plus x the whole square ok um, I am sorry I, still, I have to still I still have one more term so I remove this so the other term which we have is the w into uh, x term so this is going to be if I am going to call this a positive moment the other one is going to be a negative moment w x and this is the whole square. I forgot the dx over here. So now we've got two terms which we are going to put together. We are going to add this up and before we go ahead we have to remove remember that we are going to have the energy a minimum. So I am going to differentiate this with reference to Rb the redundant reaction and this is going to be the uh, integral of the, 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 the summation of both these terms so I am going to do the partial differential of the first term this will make it a little easy so for the term with origin at B I am calling it as 1 and here if you see it is RB whole square so this reduces to RB 2 times RB into X square by 2 EI okay now I still have the 0 to L by 2 term over here and I can cancel out this 2 and we got the dx term and then for the other one you got the dou u by dou rb1 again it's actually rb uh, I'll, okay I'll call this as the suffix 2 so this is going to be the integral 0 to l by 2 now watch it here we are going to have a slightly uh, what shall we say we need to pay a little attention over here so this is one term so I am calling this uh, this will become RB square so 2 RB and into this constant this is a constant over here L by 2 plus X right and right so okay so this is uh, this is the first term and this is again a square term okay so actually I'm what I'm doing is I'm just using that a minus b the whole square term of expansion so that this is w x square and I'm putting this into a bracket so that whatever is the constant term I can keep it out right and okay so probably I shouldn't be doing this way because w x square will get cancelled there's no rb term over there so with your permission I'll simply strike it out because I cannot differentiate. Differential of this will be treated like a constant. And after this remains that 2 RB. So RB when I differentiate it, it's going to be again uh, 1. So L by 2 plus X into W X. So I have basically done a partial integration of the, I mean partial differentiation of the term. So W X squared term doesn't have an RB so it vanishes but the middle term does have an uh, RB term so that's that's what I get in the second part over here now I'll uh, probably just uh, 
Okay, fine. So now we need to integrate this equation. I'm uh, I'm probably just going to speed up this portion a little because uh, after I assemble this equation, so I'm going to have the whole thing dou u by dou r equated to zero because that's the way we minimize a function. So I am getting dou u by dou r is equal to uh, inter I mean like um, the total energy is equal, going to be equal to 0 to L by 2 RB into X square by EI DX plus integral over the limits 0 to L by 2 2 into RB and if, uh, you can expand this L by 2 the whole square plus 4 into L by 2 plus and all the other terms um, L by 2 plus it, it cannot be L by 2 plus W over here it's actually L by 2 plus X the whole square so it's actually L by 2 plus X the whole square so 4 into um, right L by 2 that is because it's 2 L by 2 into X and so on and so forth I'll be I'll be just uh, speeding up from this point on because this is just a matter of formula substitution so which you can probably just go through uh, in your um, in your leisure so that we also speed up this video so here this term is going to be minus 2 into um, W L X by 2 plus again minus w x square 2w x square so this will be 2w x square so now we uh, possibly uh, we, uh, we probably got up all the terms which interest us uh, and uh, so here I go around and yes I missed one term over here which probably is going to make a big difference it's that it's a by 2 ie i term over here now in this part I have, I have uh, cancelled it but in the second part I have not done it so it means that outside is a 1 by 2 EI so I am putting this 1 by 2 EI over here just so that you don't feel that you know the term has vanished so all these places have a 2 I am striking them all out all the common 2 so that kind of fixes the equation the way it should look like so basically you are having a uh, now now I can probably um, integrate the term so but in any case <coughs> I'm speeding up right here okay now we have uh, got the basic form so now I'm very quickly going to cancel out these EI terms and uh, RB will be equal to L cube by 12 uh, I'm taking the L cube also out here so L cube and uh, into 1 by 24 plus 1 by 24 is 1 by 12 1 by 12 plus uh, 1 by 4 and uh, now this will uh, reduce to this should uh, this reduces to 1 by 3 and uh, is equal to uh, 1 by 16 plus 1 by 24 is equal to 5 by 48 sorry I'll, uh, I'll just uh, probably yeah I'll just uh, separate it out like the previous one like the other one over here so this is equal to W L cube into 1 by 16 plus 1 by 24 which is nothing but rb into l cube by 3 is equal to 5 by 48 into w l cube so i can strike l cube on both sides this gives rb is equal to um, 5 by 16 w this gives it as 5 by 16 w now let's check it over here so this is the same as what we got 
over here. Now, although it might seem that this is a little uh, longish method, this method does have its advantages. Now, since you got RB, the rest of the stuff is nothing but the same as what we did in the previous uh, problem. So, I hope that you fi found this uh, uh, interesting. And if you are going to have a look at it, you do be careful about the integration because that's what I kind of uh, almost uh, made a few mistakes. So, this does require a little practice and I wish you all the best. If you have any doubts, please feel free to uh, contact me. You can contact me via YouTube on the in the comment section and do feel free to leave your comments and any other suggestions which can make this more useful. Goodbye. Thank you.